Hello everybody and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm here at Denpasar at Nyagura Rai International Airport at the domestic terminal and I'm going to be flying Batik Air aboard one of their Boeing 737s from here in Denpasar over to Jakarta Sokano Hata International Airport. Okay, so now that we're here in the domestic section, um, we've got to show these guys our ticket so we can get in, and then we'll go and check in. Okay, so put a mask on. I'm now inside the self-check-in area, and there's the regular check-in there. I'm going to try self-check-in because I did actually check in online. I just like to get a boarding pass though because the email didn't come through to me with the boarding pass. Okay, so check-in's been completed very quickly. They're pretty responsive, not like the most responsive or modern I've ever seen, but they're certainly uh, not bad at all. So yeah, check-in's completed. Now going to head through security, which is just down here. Still have about an hour and a half until when boarding's meant to be. So should have time to sit down and get a coffee or chai. Security's just up here. Okay, so security done in a flush. It's um, I have flown out of here domestically once before recently, and it was way slower then. So very impressive security system, super quick. However, you do need to take out your like laptops and iPads and that. So that's something that could be approved upon, but still really good. So here's, I guess, you'd say domestic duty free. And now let's go and grab a Starbucks coffee, hot chocolate, or something of that sort while we wait for our plane to board in a little over an hour. I'm just here now around our gate, which is gate lounge number four. I'm just doing a little bit of plane spotting around Indonesia, or on all these Indonesian airlines, sorry. It's very cool, they have a lot of cool planes and airlines here. But yeah, this is the gay lounge just here. They have a decent selection of food and drink options here at Dempasar, which is something that is obviously nice. There's a CityLink ATR taking off, which looks quite cool. I like the CityLink livery, it's quite unique. I do hope to try it at some point. Here's our plane for today, which has just landed in from Jakarta. This is PK-LDH. It's a 2015 built Boeing 737-800, which was delivered a brand new to Melindo Air in 2015 and transferred over to Batik Air since Melindo Air is slowly turning into Batik Air now um, in 2020. A little bit of info about Batik would be the fact that they are owned by Lion Air, which is a fact that you might already know. And as I mentioned just a few seconds ago, Melindo Air is turning into Batik Air. So beforehand Melindo was basically Batik Air, but the airline doing international flights. But now it's all going to be turned into one. So the Lion Air group is a massive group that owns so many airlines including Batik such as well, Lion Air, Thai Lion Air, um, Super Airjet and Batik Air and Melindo for the moment but as I said that's going to be gone soon. So yeah. 
It's part of a few groups. Another group is this CityLink plane here is owned by Garuda Indonesia. And I believe Garuda Indonesia also owns Sriwijaya Air, which is the owner of Nam Air, which is just sitting there. There's an Air Force C-130 landing in here, which is something you very, very rarely see. Super cool looking plane. Now time to board. Very good compared to many other Indonesian airlines here. By the way, you might notice it says Indonesia there. That's because Batik Air also have a Malaysian airline. I have no idea where it flies though. <coughs> I don't but I think Batik Indonesia is way bigger than the Malaysian Batik. Okay, welcome aboard Batik S737-800. Since it's a full service carrier, they do have business class. Here's the business class, which is in a 2-2 configuration with 12 seats. Looks pretty decent. And then economy, as always, is in a 3-3 configuration. Also, today's flight is, other than business class, I think it might be full. One of the last people to board here. My seat for today is 24A, on the right side of the aircraft. When boarding from the front, but in tech, like normally, you would call it the left side in aviation terms. So here's my seat for the next hour and a half to Jakarta with a nice view of the wing. Okay, so welcome aboard the Batik Air Boeing 737-800, seat 24A. Uh, by the way, the crew did give a nice warm welcome to us when we got on here, so that's nice. Anyways, now that I'm on board with my seatbelt fasten, let's go through the seat features of this aircraft. So firstly, I'd like to start off with legroom, which is pretty crazy on this plane. For a 737, this is way above average. Um, it's 32 inches, 81 centimetres, I think. Um, at least that's what Google told me. So yeah, plenty of legroom. You shouldn't need much more than this, or any more, really. Um, and then just you have the seat back pocket, which is looking a little bit worn. However, it is leather, but then once again, on the other side, it's um, only six years old, so, yep. Then you have safety card here, which looks cool. This is normally the Batik um, tail paint, I guess you could say, but since this plane came over from Malingo, they haven't decided to paint it into that just yet. So here you have the safety card, and then there's nothing else in the seat pocket, despite a couple Oh no, there is something else. This looks like there's a little bit of plastic rubbish at the bottom, but nothing dirty. Oh, and the prayer card. And then just here you have the see back IFE, which I like how they have it in lots of different languages. We'll check that out a bit later. It does also include a USB port and headphone jack. We are actually already starting our pushback. One thing I've noticed here in Indonesia is that they're very efficient and it doesn't take them long to get the plane around. Now time for pushback and taxi. I'll finish the seat features in a moment. Sebelum lepas anda semua kiam pengenakan sabuk pengaman, berikan sandaran kursi, berdorongkan sandaran tangan.
Kelima meja diharapkan anda dapat membuka penutup jendela. Jika anda membutuhkan bantuan selama penerbangan, silakan untuk menghubungi awak kami. Terima kasih atas kerja samanya dan selamat Part One to Jakarta. The flight to Jakarta is one hours and forty minutes. We would like to inform you that this is not smoking flight, including electric cigarette device. According to the Civil Aviation and Safety Regulation, tampering, dissembling, and destroying any smoke detector in the air is prohibited. Please fasten your seatbelt, put your seatbelt in the upright position, lower your press, so get the double security and open your window shutter before takeoff. If you need any assistance, please do not. Okay, so now that we've pushed back and the engines are started, I think. Let's finish the seat features. I'm not sure where the crew are during this safety demonstration. However, they do have a safety demo on here, and I'm not sure what the regulations are behind that here in Indonesia. Anyways, here's the tray table just here. You can pull it out, there's a little bit of paint on there, um, but otherwise it's very clean. There's no cup holder, which is interesting, but yeah, it's a nice size. No issues with that, really. And finally, there's a little bit of seat pitch, which I might show you a bit later, but it's probably just standard. And yeah, there is no headrest, however, the seat padding is pretty comfy. And yeah. That's about it. Yes, we're taking off for best for the kicker. Please also exit police for us. Thank you. The crew weren't doing any hand actions for the safety demo. Um, however, they did make an announcement about that um, prior to the video being shown, and the video was in detail. I've had this happen a couple times. However, the last time this happened, um, which was on the time that trip report would be out by now. Um, they didn't do an announcement before that and also um, the safety demo wasn't as good on the TV screen so yeah let me know if you know much about that because I don't Time for takeoff. Today then took us east out of Denpasar, Bali, before shortly turning west, flying over Surabaya and then past Surakarta, before eventually um, turning south and then landing from the south into Jakarta, Surakarta and Harta International Airport. Today's flight time was 
one hour, 31 minutes, and a cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. It would appear the cabin crew is coming around with water. I think we should nearly be at cruising altitude, but I thought now might be a bad time to show you through the in-flight entertainment here on Bunty Air. So here's the entertainment screen of their 737, English, and then if I click on entertainment, I assume that's movies, yes? So these are basically all of the movies. They really don't have many movies. Um, however, the fact that they have any is somewhat impressive because it's a one and a half hour flight, TV shows. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's all of the um, TV shows that they have. Here's documentaries. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of movie selection. However, I'm pretty sure Batik's longest flight is probably two hours. Maybe there's one or two that are two and a half hours. But the regular flight with Batik is only an hour and a half, which is kind of hard to watch a movie on anyway. And they have a few, which is certainly better than nothing. Uh, audio books, music, doesn't seem to be very much there. Games. They have quite a few games actually, so that's good. Yeah, I mean it's certainly it's not it's not the best entertainment system. Definitely not the best entertainment system I've ever seen. But it's the best I've seen here in Indonesia. And Way better than not having anything at all. Still climbing now through 31,000 feet. Okay, we've just leveled off at our cruising altitude of um, 34,000 feet. The crew which uh, are very professional but also friendly. I just came around and handed out the refreshment service on board Batik Air today. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to get, but here have some Batik branded water, which is nice. And then just here you have a, I guess, a bag with a couple things. First thing being bread roll, which seems very nice and soft. And then finally, um, a little muffin of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what the flavour is, but I will let you know later about how they both taste. So yeah, I think for a one and a half hour flight, I'm considering this barely any more than low cost airlines, really. Um, I give Batika the thumbs up for this meal service, and I think it's really good. Okay, so I could be wrong here, but it sounds like um, the seatbelt sign's been turned on. Possibly because we have had some turbulence, and I think we're going to um, start our descent shortly. It doesn't look like we have just yet, but yeah. Just quickly about the food. Um, so the bread roll was like a brioche bun with some butter in the middle. That was really, really tasty. And then the muffin was just, you know, tasty, but nothing special. 
couldn't figure out exactly what the flavour is. It was almost like just some spices or something. It almost tasted a little bit like coffee. So, yeah. Anyways, until recently it has been a pretty smooth fire, and even now it's barely much turbulence and not very uncomfortable at all. in English in a moment, but I do believe that we have started our descent to Jakarta, so kind of Jakarta International Airport. Sounds okay, but not particularly amazing. Crew's now doing a final walk through the cabin to make sure it's ready for landing. Got some sort of hotel lobby music playing in here. Bit interesting, but yeah. Flying over a lot of big ships, including those two down there. I believe Jakarta's a massive seaport. Okay, so we've just sort of gone parallel to the runway and now turning into land from the south up to Jakarta, so Kano Harta International Airport, I think that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, basically starting our approach now. Very interesting music here. Welcome to Indonesia's capital at the airport of Jakarta, Sukarno Hatta International. Which is by far the busiest airport in Indonesia. For domestic flights, that is. Pesawat 
There's very small. That's only to air out there, which only has two routes, one of them being Dempsey. Yeah. Absolutely massive, beautiful terminal here. As you may be able to see, we're pulling in next to a boutique A320, which is actually what this plane was originally scheduled on. Now, time to deboard. I think we're going on the tarmac, which is kind of cool because then I can get a nice photo. The cabin crew are already doing their job and getting the trash out of the seat pockets. Once again, here's business class. Katamakasi. Still very hot here in Jakarta. Something that I've noticed in Indonesia is it's, there's no rules about taking photos, which is amazing. Okay. Managed to grab a very good photo there. Super humid here. Also, it could just be the pollution. Okay, now here inside the terminal, it's nicely air conditioned. Okay, so now I think it's a good time to conclude today's trip before, for your information. We arrived like basically right on time, five minutes late which isn't really considered to be light. But yeah, so journey started at Denpasar Airport. It's probably one of the best check-in experiences I've had. I checked in online and then just reprinted my boarding bus at the self-checking kiosk, which was quick. And security was really, really quick. There was no queue at all. So that was great. Airside, there's heaps of places to get coffee and nice, tasty snacks. Um, one thing that I noticed is that toilets from gate 4 are really far away. So, yeah. And then boarding on time, which is good, and departed very shortly after boarding. Once again on time, I'm getting a nice welcome from the crew. And yeah, the seat features were really quite impressive, I think. Then once we're in the air, the drinks and snack service was done really quickly, which is, of course, very good as well. Then something else to note is that the food was pretty tasty, really, and about what I'd expect. Entertainment was probably the least, if probably the least I've ever seen on an IFE, but not really 
a complaint because it's such a short flight and not basically none of its competitors other than Garuda have that. So yeah. And then landing on time and the crew are nice too. So verdict basically is Batika is certainly a really good option here. I booked a long time ago, so I got a really good deal. But normally it's about $10, $15 more than, say, Lion Air or Air Asia. And, yep. Something else to note is that there's so many other airlines here that I haven't tried, so I don't really know that much about how good this really is. But from all I know, I would say that today, Batike did a really good job and I'm very impressed. So Batike is most certainly one of the best options on this route. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, I feel like that conclusion was very confusing. Sorry about that. Um, I do have another flight from here in Jakarta in a few hours. So I'm going to go explore the airport a bit more and yeah. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching this video. A like and subscription if you enjoyed would be so much appreciated. Have a great day and I hope to see you in my next video.